getting to know the Danarai Insulin Pump. The Danarai Insulin Pump has four buttons, plus and minus, which are more often than not edit buttons, right, which is always directional or movement, and OK, which is yes, agree or move forward. The pump also boasts a large window down the side of the case, which allows you to view the cartridge and the linking screw mechanism connecting to the motor. To insert a battery into the pump, you must first remove the battery cap located at the top of the pump case. This can be removed through a Dana battery key or indeed any other key and coin. Removing the top and then inserting a battery with the positive terminal facing up will allow you to then put the battery cap back on before pushing down against the spring and rotating anti-clockwise to close. The cartridge cap snaps off and snaps back on again. The pump's turned on and is now showing us the home screen. On the home screen, you can see the date in the top left, the time in the top right, the insulin indication in the bottom right and the battery indication in the bottom left. The small flashing B just off left of centre is telling you that basil is being delivered and the basal rate is being presented in the centre of the screen. You can also see a percentage indication here so you're aware of any temporary basils that might be running. Any alarms, alerts or messages will appear in the centre of this screen. Extended bolus information will be shown just underneath the date and if you're running aeroplane mode or button lock a corresponding symbol will appear at the bottom. By pressing OK we can get into the main menu. The main menu runs as a carousel, thereby meaning you can press right to cycle through all your options until eventually returning to the beginning. Pressing OK on review you can see inside of here we have three options in this carousel sub-menu. The first is more information. Pressing OK on more information we can see here you'll find an active insulin reading, your daily total of insulin from midnight or indeed from when the pump was turned on, and pre-bolus that shows you the last bolus delivered. Pressing OK will let you leave this menu. Right once will show us history. The pump will retain up to 90 days worth of pump history, which is viewable via the app or exportable to a computer. Pressing OK on shipping information, we can see here the serial number of the pump, the country that the pump was manufactured for, the date of manufacture, as well as the firmware version. Pressing OK to leave will take us back to the review sub-menu. Minus takes us to the main menu and right will show us bolus, which we explore in another video. Right again will show us suspend. Suspend immediately ceases insulin delivery from the pump. You'll receive an alarm every four minutes that the pump screen remains off to alert you to the fact the pump remains in suspend. Most of the time there is no reason to suspend your pump, but in closed loop environments it can be important so double check. Cross once more and you're looking at button lock. This immediately locks up the pump and requires your password in order to unlock the pump's menus again. This can be useful to prevent accidental button presses while the pump is in your pocket. Across once more and it's temporary basil. Pressing OK on temporary basil will allow you to choose an amount of time and a percentage that you'd like to run your temporary basil at. You can go up to 24 hours and between 0 and 200%. After temporary basil is basil, where you set your basil rates. We've explored this in another video. Across again is refill. Refill is involved in the filling of a cartridge, the priming of tubing and the priming of cannulas. And again, we'll explore this in another video. Across once more is the option cog. Pressing OK on the option cog, we can see in this sub-menu we have clock settings, user options and airplane mode. Pressing OK on clock settings allows us to set the time zone. The Danarai works on UTC time, so it's only the time zone that you need to change. User options is explored in another video. And airplane mode is a toggle. When airplane mode is on, the Bluetooth is off. Otherwise, the Bluetooth is always on, even when you're not connected to a smartphone. Pressing minus takes you back to the main menu and minus again takes you to the home screen.